All right, so you're about to do a starter on an F-350 Super Duty, and I'm going to give you some tips that are going to save you so much headache. Uh, I've done a, quite a few of these, and uh, please, take my word for this. You, uh, this stuff is going to help you out a lot. It's a matter of whether this job is going to take you three hours, and you're screaming and yelling, and probably end up getting a divorce by the, end, by the time you're done doing it, or listen to what I'm about to tell you, and you can possibly get this job done in 30 minutes, maybe. All right, so the things that are going to make this job really easy is, number one, get a set of goggles. Safety glasses are good. I like to wear these because when you're, if you, if you not have a lift and you're underneath of a truck on the ground, which most of you probably may be, this strap helps hold this onto your head when your head is moving around under there. Believe me when I tell you, there's going to be all kinds of stuff falling in your eyes. Don't try to do the job without these on. You're going to get something in your eye as soon as you crawl under there, and that's just going to ruin the whole job. You'll be screaming already. All right. The next thing you're going to want is a 10 millimeter. This is going to be for a wire on the solenoid. And you're going to want a 8 millimeter wrench. If you don't have one, get a 5 16th. So that's going to be to disconnect your battery when you pop the hood. Um, another thing you're going to need is... A half inch socket this swivel it's gonna save your life it's gonna do wonders and the other thing is this extension it's about six inches long if you don't have a six inch extension maybe find extensions that are three inches long and, and connect them together um, it's very tight quarters on some of these bolts and it's almost uh, very very crucial that you have anywhere from five to six inches on your extension all right this is a uh, 3 8 setup and that's pretty much all the tools you're going to need. Other than that, when you're laying underneath of a truck, one of the hardest things that makes the, well, one of the things that makes the job hard is your neck is, is uh, completely bent as you're uh, reaching up in there and your neck and your back is going to hurt. Okay, so get something maybe to prop your head up or whatever. And last but not least, all these tools, keep them right next to you. Or you're going to be going up, uh, going in and out, in and out from underneath of the truck. Keep everything right next to you, especially when you're under there. It's hard to turn around and reach for things. Keep everything right next to you. I personally use a magnetic tray. I set it up there on the frame and I put everything right there. This way I can just reach and grab it. And last but not least, as you're taking these nuts and bolts off, um, maybe have a separate spot where you put all of them. Me, when I take a nut out, once I'm able to uh, you know, put it back in, I'll screw it back into where it was so I don't lose everything. All right, but those are some of the tips. And trust me, when you get under there, if you don't follow these, you're going to go, damn, I should have followed that. All right, let's get into it. First thing you're going to want to do is disconnect your battery. You can see I got my positive and my negative terminals disconnected. This is my starter, got from Napa. It's 244-9317. This is a 2015 Super Duty F350 XL. And that is what the starter looks like. Right, so we're on the passenger side here. And what you want to do is go right behind the passenger side wheel. You're going to come up under. And look straight up. And there's the starter. We got one nut here that's got to come off. That's a half inch. And you have some wires back here. I actually forget what size those are, but uh, I'm going to get to them in a second. Your third your third bolt, if you come up on the side of the starter, you're going to see it. And our last and final bolt is going to be way up there on the starter, which is going to be the fun one. Starting with the first nut, you're going to want to put an extension on here. And uh, it's a half inch. And you're going to want it long enough to go past the starter because this is the only room you got back here to turn that ratchet. If you, you, know, you, can't, you have to have an extension because your ratchet is just going to hit the starter here and you're not going to be able to turn it. So get an extension that goes out past the starter so that you have this little gap here to go back and forth. And uh, I'm underneath the truck so it's going to be kind of hard for me to do this. with limited space with the camera so I'm going to go ahead and take that nut off. Now this bottom bolt instead of backing it all the way out what you want to do is leave it in there just a little bit all right it's loose and reason because 
once you undo all these other bolts on here, the starter's pretty heavy. The last thing, last thing you want is this starter coming down on your face. All right, so leave this threaded in just a little bit, this bottom bolt. So when we do take out that top one, this starter is not uh, crashing down on our heads. Before we take off this small nut on the end here, going to the solenoid, we're going to go back to this one here. All right, this is going to be a half inch. Uh, you have this little cap on here. You just want to pop that off. Put a half inch on there with no extension. Remember, you, have, you don't have much room here. Uh, just go straight from ratchet to the socket on this one. Half inch. Got that one off there. Now, go up to this small one here which is a 10 millimeter, and you don't need any extension or anything like that. You just kind of put it on there and it should come off. All right, so now we're gonna get to that bolt on the side. You wanna get out that extension, that six inch extension, and uh, your half inch socket. And what you wanna do is don't put your ratchet on yet. And make sure you got goggles on right here because this is where all the rust is going to fall in your face. And just kind of feel around up there until it drops onto that nut. Okay, now I got it on there. And you can see I have a little bit of space for my ratchet right there. That's why I said six inches on the uh, six inches on your extension here because you only got a little bit of room here to get your ratchet in there. All right, got my ratchet in there. See how tight it is? You don't have much room, but it's coming. Now, once you have it loose, you're going to start closing that gap here as that bolt backs out for your ratchet to spin. So just put your extension up there once it's loose and back it out the rest of the way with your hand. And she's out. All right, all the easy stuff's over with. Now's the hard part. It may go easy for you, but chances are it's not. So I have my 6-inch extension on here and I have my swivel at the end with my half inch now this is going to be hard to do with one hand but basically what you want to do is you want to use one hand to feel around where that nut is and you're going to take your other hand and you're going to guide this up there the reason why you have this swivel there is because you can't go straight on with it you're going to have to feel around with one hand and guide this on the nut with the other hand all right you can do it, but you are going to need that swivel because you can't go straight on with that nut. All right, the top bolt is out. All right, and uh, I'm trying to see if I can explain this to you, but you see where this exhaust meets right here? That is why you're going to need the swivel. Let me see if I can get this up there to where you can see where the bolt came out. There, you can kind of see it. Um, yeah, right there. So you can't get straight on in here. You have to have that swivel in order to bend to go under this exhaust right here. And your extension is probably going to come out here on a little bit of an angle. So you're not going to be straight on. And you're going to have to ratchet it off like that. Now getting it on, you're going to have to do the same thing. You're going to have to feel around. Um, it'll probably be a little bit easier getting it on to slide that uh, nut in there. But that's the most challenging part of the job. The first time I did one of these, I was screaming and yelling for hours. Um, so far, I've only been into this job about 20 minutes, but I knew I was what I was going to get into. But that's out. Now, uh, the starter should be loose, and it is. So I can go ahead and take this bottom bolt out now, and it should be able to shimmy this loose. Now, there's your starter, side-by-side -side comparison. Hopefully, you already matched these up before you ripped yours out and find out that you got the wrong one. And that's it guys, that's how you get the starter out. Now putting it back in, uh, from my experience, it's actually a little bit easier. Uh, but just follow all the steps backwards, take your time and just stay calm and you will get through it fast. It's uh, tight quarters and you know, we, you know we, we just wanna get stuff done nowadays and get on to the next project, right? But something like this, you just gotta take your time and I found that if you go into it with a really uh, you know, calm, mindset you'll be fine all right i remember the first time i did this first second and third time i actually had to walk away from these and it just led on to hours and hours all because pretty much of that top bolt 
and I finally figured out the system with the little extension and the swivel and all that stuff. There's other guys that tell you you got to take motor mounts out and lift the motor up. But you don't really need to go through all that. There's uh, tricks for everything. All right, so guys, please hit subscribe below. Give me a like. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Leave a comment. I try to get back to everybody. Sometimes I get back to you right away, but sometimes it takes a day or two. All right, and I'll see you next time.